this is a fantastic book on animation called The Animator's Survival Kit. And it's by Richard Williams, who directed the animation on Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And uh, he's been making animated films and shorts for over 40 years. He's won tons of awards. And um, when he was young, he actually caught the attention of Golden Age masters. I, he and uh, he studied under Ken Harris, Frank Thomas, Ollie Johnston, Ken Anderson, and other animation geniuses who who were responsible for bringing films like Snow White, Bambi, Pinocchio, and other Disney classics to life through the magical art form of animation. So Richard Williams takes what he's learned over these 40 years and what these animation masters taught him and basically well he writes a book about it but it's um mostly drawings and he knows what he's talking about obviously it feels like you're in the room with him it's it's really unpretentious very readable written in plain language animation is all about taking things one step at a time and Richard Williams provides hundreds of drawings detailing each step in the animation process and as you'll see the majority of these drawings are quite simple which is good because he doesn't impose any particular style onto the reader it's up to the reader to use the uh, methods and principles that he provides to do something creative with that information. Richard Williams has been called the bridge between classical and modern day animation. And while this book is all hand drawn in the traditional style, the principles and working methods within this book can be applied to CGI. And I highly recommend that anyone using computers uh, to make their animation read this book because one of the the biggest problems with CGI is that it often looks very robotic and cold and soulless it lacks the vitality and warmth of hand-drawn animation sometimes and I'm not saying that CGI is garbage it can be amazing when it's done right like like in Pixar films like Toy Story um, it's just very very hard I think to pull it off that way and I'm not, like, I prefer the hand-drawn aesthetic, but I'm not against computers. I use computers in my own animation to a limited degree. Like all the camera pans and stuff like that I do digitally. Things that would have cost thousands and thousands of dollars back in the day, computers have cut the costs for that. Um, but the basic concepts that you need to know for any type of animation are all in this book and uh... yeah i'm not criticizing computer. computers are just a medium they're just a tool like anything else like they aren't inherently good or bad so like watercolor isn't inherently good or bad it depends on the artist and how they use it so this book just provides the groundwork for what you need to do and then you can go off on your own way and and use this knowledge i mean it covers everything minded he doesn't impose anything on you he just gives you the basic principles and you're you're totally free to to use this knowledge however you want so I recommend this book big time to people who want to make animation and I don't necessarily recommend it to people who don't want to make animation thanks for watching